Right now, we are in Cedar Lakes Lifestyle Estate. Now, this is a lifestyle estate that borders four ways with easy access to the largest mall in South Africa, Four Ways Mall. Now, the key is in the name, Lifestyle Estate, and it has everything you could ever wish for. Dams are plenty, greenery everywhere that I can see, as well as everything you'd like for your kids, such as wet parks, play areas, bistros, pizza bars, as well as so much more. One of my favorites being the coffee bar. Now right here, I'm standing outside a 6.4 million, four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, stunning country home situated right here in Cedar Lifestyle Estate. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. And here we are coming through those beautiful wood frame double doors. You find yourself in an entry enclave that is very, very nice because it looks over your formal dining room area. But let's start at the beginning. And since we've mentioned dining, the kitchen is probably the best place to start. Definitely one of my favorites. I love catching me a snack, specifically a midnight snack. And where would you start other than this beautiful center island with the chef's sink as well as a water purifier that's connected to it right now. But there is some under counter storage as well as drawers for all of your fresh fruit and your vegetables. But I like the placement. It's an awesome place to whip up a couple of meals with everything surrounding you that you might need. Again, we've got more of this stunning countertop right here, under counter cabinets, display cabinets right over here, built in. And then you've got your four burner gas hob. We've got an AG oven underneath it, AG gas hob, and then a DeFi extractor. But bordering this, you've got so much space to prep all of your meals, and that leads you right in to the pantry. So coming into the pantry, it's standard affair. You've got your double sink for washing up, and then under counter storage for all of your appliances. You've got full, nearly floor to ceiling cabinets on the right hand side. And then you've got a door leading out to the back side of the house. That's where your washing lines will be located. Some extra storage space as well as where the staff quarters are located. And this house does have staff quarters. But here we are within your breakfast nook or your kitchen nook area. Plenty of space here. It fits this six-seater dining room table pretty easily. Lots of light above me. And then you've got what I have to say would make a perfect bar area in my opinion. Got all these cupboards over there as well as below. More of that granite countertop. So if you do want to turn this into a little bar area, you can. Otherwise, for breakfast, perfectly set out. And yeah, you can serve the family or serve any of your guests. And then of course, leading down these stairs, you find yourself within the first sitting room area. Now this sitting room area is serviced by an aircon and has got absolutely massive ceilings. I love how high these ceilings are and how spacious this area is. The windows here leading out onto your front garden are all wood framed and quite large, letting in a lot of natural light. And this leads to what can only be described as your formal dining room area. An eight seater dining room table fits here with ease, with a chandelier dangling from the ceiling, lending an air of grandeur to a place where you really will be whipping up some of your best meals. Now this is back where we started. We walked through that front door. We stood where you're standing right now, looking down onto this area and out into the garden which is what I think we should talk about next. So we've got sliding wood room doors leading out onto your patio. And the nice thing is, so often these wood room doors can cause problems later on in life, but not in this home. And how cute is this little puppy here? Not in this home because you've got this area completely surrounded by aluminum framed stackable sliding doors with those glass insert panels. So it keeps the wood protected from the elements, which I really like. And this whole patio is sealed off with that. So come out here with me, take a look at how large the patio is. Take a good gander, this gorgeous little pup over here, coming up these stairs. But all of the openings have got these stackable sliding doors turning this outdoor area into a real indoor area when you need it. But there's a little bit more. Is right here, we've got some drywall. 
This patio is L-shaped, so it will curve all the way around to this side of the house with access into the other sitting room, which we're gonna take you to in a moment. But the owners have currently walled us off with some drywall just to make a private room there. However, you can, <laughs> however you can take that drywall down and utilize that however you see fit. So guys, let me get out of uh, the clutches of this little fluffy boy. Let's go into the sitting room and let's show you what the rest of this house looks like. Now, before we lead off inside, how can we not talk about this stunning garden area? For one, absolutely massive. Two, we've got this L-shaped pool right here, blue, but surrounded by huge trees and so much greenery. If you've got a green thumb, if you love gardening, this is the home for you. You can see all these flower beds are just waiting for the right person with the right touch to bring them to life. But already, it smells incredible. The smells of spring, I do love it. But then grass all the way down there, grass leading up the hill to a vegetable patch and then all these flower beds surrounding this pool. Incredible. Guys, I'm gonna find it hard to move off inside now. It is so nice being out here after this winter, but we need to. So come with me, let's take a look at the second sitting room area, and then it's time for the bedrooms. So as hard as it has been, we've made it, we're back inside, and we've got to move through the rest of this home. So through the dining room area, we come up this flight of stairs, and here we are within the second sitting room area. That is the remainder of the L-shaped patio. So if you do take that drywalling down, this will be the door that you use to come back in to the sitting room. Now talking about this sitting room, again, aircon, plenty of downlighting, which we like, but you've also got a fireplace right here for you to utilize. As much as I hate it, but uh, on those cold winter nights, it is really nice to sit out in front of a fireplace. Then we've got this stunning L-shaped window here. I love these pocket windows. Looking out onto a fountain, which we'll show you in a bit, as well as the rest of the garden and that vegetable patch. But nice area, really well utilized with the space outside, being able to access that balcony from both sides. But coming around the corner, we need to stop right here and talk about that half bathroom or the guest bathroom. Let's take a look. The guest bathroom in this house comes very well equipped with a walk-in shower as well as single vanity with a glass bowl, which is very unusual, not something we see every day. I do quite like it. Under counter storage, windows opening up onto the garden and then your toilet located in the corner. And now we're on to the bedroom. So this is the guest bedroom, or it could even be an office space. However you want to see it, you can utilize it like that. We've got some cupboard space right here built in, and then you've got two doors that open right out onto your garden area and this fountain. I love fountains, I love water features. I'm sure a lot of you could probably relate to me specifically when you listen to how peaceful it sounds. So this to me would make a perfect office. Windows right there looking out onto the entrance of the home, beautiful large tiles making the room feel quite spacious, well lit, aircon in here as well, so think of that. There are, however, three more bedrooms located upstairs, which we're gonna to have to take a look at right now. So we've covered the study slash bedroom area, and now we're walking back through the central courtyard, the entry hall, to the stairs that we're gonna go all the way up and take a look at those bedrooms. But these stairs have got one of my favorite features and it's a feature we see quite often and it is this massive window with frosted inlays letting in so much light on these staircases. It makes it look so cool. And I mean, look at that. It's a gigantic window in your staircase. Like who doesn't like that? I think it's awesome. Wood, cut, well, wood tops on the railings leading upstairs. And as soon as we get upstairs, you find yourself in an area you have perfectly set out and perfectly equipped for a second office. So if you're in bed, if you like to work from home, this is the house for you. But talking about windows, I love that one is right over here, massive looking out onto your carport and your entry, letting in so much light on this pathway to the two bedrooms. But before we talk about bedrooms, let's talk about the carport. You've got a double garage fitting two cars easily with parking spaces right in front of that garage. So you know if you've got guests, they've got places to park. Over here, we've got a bathroom that is shared by bedroom one and two. And over here, we've got a storage room for you to utilize as a linen closet, should you wish it. We're gonna leave this for a second. So come on here. 
And this is the first bedroom we're walking into upstairs, a beautiful bedroom, aircon, plenty of cupboard space, really a lot of cupboard space, wood flooring which matches the cupboards quite nicely, love the flooring and it transitions out onto your very own balcony that wraps across the length of the house onto the master suite and I think I'm going to send you through that balcony and I'm going to meet you in the next bedroom, let's go. And here we are, bedroom number two, again, continuation of the stunning wood floors. We've got some cupboard space behind me, serviced again with an aircon. Plenty of space within both these bedrooms for these massive beds. And let's take a look at that balcony leading into the master suite. Walking outside, you get to experience this massive balcony and the greenery that I think is only lifestyle estates like Cedar Lakes get to offer these massive trees surrounding you. Beautiful blue pool down below you and this huge garden area that I think is so rare when it comes to houses nowadays, specifically when you're buying in Four Ways and Santon. So I love that they've included this. I love how big they've made it and I definitely like the attention the owner has had when crafting this garden. But that leaves us two things. The first is that guest toilet, or shouldn't I say, not guest toilet, the toilet located just outside the two bedrooms. And last, nothing else but the creme de la creme, the master suite. So your shared bathroom has a couple of features that I'd like to mention. One is the sunken bathtub located just under frosted windows that open outwards onto your own garden. Then you've got another set of windows just located over your toilet, which opens out onto the front of the house, again frosted, walk-in shower, and then you've got your single vanity there, built in, under counter storage, massive mirror above it, really nice, light, airy bathroom, definitely one that you'd like in your house. And that's it. The shared bathroom done and dusted, which leaves us only one thing. Like I mentioned, the creme de la creme, the master suite, and here it is. And I've said this so many times, but what master suite is complete without a walk-in closet, which it has. And we've just passed that, and through that walk-in closet, you will find your very own ensuite bathroom. But take a look at how large this master suite is. It's definitely one of the biggest ones we've featured before. Plenty of space here for a reading area, or your very own lounge within your bedroom. We've got a king size bed here that fits very, very easily. And then right over here is your cupboard space and there is a lot of it. So you've got cupboards lining both sides of the wall and over here, a built-in area again, almost reminiscent of the desk we saw outside, but right here I'm sure many people will be using to get ready. You've got all this light coming in from this window, natural light as well. So perfect place for you to get ready. You can throw a mirror up on one of these walls and use it to check yourself out. Make sure you're looking spick and span. Worthy of a home this beautiful. But here we are within the ensuite bathroom. First thing you'll notice, granite countertops, double sink, plenty of under counter storage, as well as two medicine cabinets with separate mirrors. So there's no fighting over mirrors here. You've got your sunken bathtub, windows behind me again, frosted looking out to the back of the home. You've got your walk-in shower right over here, quite a big one. Really nice tiling details throughout the shower as well as the floor. Your toilet is right where you're standing, again with some frosted windows leading out to the front of the home. But that concludes the tour of this beautiful 6.4 million red home in Cedar Lakes Lifestyle Estate. The only thing left is for us to say goodbye. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on this stunning balcony to say goodbye. So if you can find yourself in this 6.4 million rand home, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, what I'd like you to do is contact Declan Ward from England Forkers and he will be able to arrange a viewing at a time and date suitable to you. A home like this is gonna fly fast, so don't hesitate. But if you're looking for a home, don't forget to visit www.privateproperty.co.za. This is a site where you can browse every estate agent listing in your area in one quick, easy, and convenient place. So I hope to see you on there. But from myself, Chad Riveros, from the team at Private Property, and from everybody at the Home Shopper Show, we love you. Thank you again for taking this journey with us, and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.